question 10 from the coursework. Um, so given this formula over here, I'm going to find the autocorrelation of it. Uh, the autocorrelation formula is this. So you take the function, you multiply it by the function plus shift, effectively, and then you do the integral of that. So let's start off with make uniform f2 I still can't do. So our period is here. So these will change to the period that we've got. is you add the shift in dt in this case it's up here and of course on dt again you dt hi um, this you've got the same here so you can multiply those two constants so you get you pick it up by the yeah you can do as well but let's just do it step by step multiply these two, you multiply the constants first, stick them on the end. You can then take them outside the brackets. He's got two of these, yeah? so you can effectively make that into two separate expressions. Yeah. So you can do E J W T and then multiply it by E J Tau. So you've got three separate expressions. Now you can then take the constant and squared there, um, that surely comes out from multiplying those, sorry, multiplying these two, easy enough. And then, we do the definite integral of that, because we've got it now, so. Now, definite integral, oh, I can. Now, this is the integral integral of that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just explain it to people, you know, people you know, watching, watching for the camera. For people at home, this is how you integrate. Yeah. 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 Wait, you should do it live. We need to watch it as all of that. World. Equals, so you take yeah. this, this expression, you move it at the front, and then you. have the original expression. Why is that one over? This is so we divide that. 
differentiation you divide, yeah. where the differentiation you yeah. multiply. Okay, so that's. Mm -hmm. uh, right, then you do the lambda. It's taking to gay on the alpha. Yeah, I mean, you can take to gay on the alpha as well. Uh, no. Out, Do you like that? I wonder why I've done that. So, what's multiplying out? Um, well, actually, what he's doing is making it into a sign expression. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what you've done. Yeah, but I just leave it like that. I'm sure that's yeah. enough. Well, I mean, you can get there, but he, he then goes on, and I think you get full. Well, you probably want to do that because this is actually quite a regular expression that keeps popping up. Yeah, um, and, and sine equals, uh, I think it's. Yeah. Can you go with that? Dj. So, how'd you go up? <laughs> That's not good. No, you, you get, two, you get 25. Pip, you get 25 j omega t e j pi omega times sine. Yeah. yeah. Sine. So it's just sine pi omega. That that on sine, so you get that on sine omega. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm just trying to work out how it goes from here yeah. to this this bit here. Let me tell you, which is somewhere here. Bring that to two. Yeah. EJ pi J over there, E pi J over there. Ah, oh, that's what you've yeah, done here, isn't it? And then you multiply them together. That's multiplied by that. Yeah, that's good. That.
and then you can take omega out and just delete 2j omega 2j at the bottom. And then yeah, so you that's a sign term for you. You've got to factor in. Is it j omega t or tau? That's a tau. No, tau, isn't it? Tau, yeah. I'm gonna love this room. Tom, if you keep going, I'm gonna love this room. It's fine.